Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord on the seventh day, octave, octave of Christmas. And we beg for the grace that as we end the year, we may look forward with hope, with new, with new vigor, and with new strength as we face a new year ahead. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on peace, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the of Father, Father you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. us. You take, take away the sins of the world, world receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, 
Grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus, we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. The Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted Him, He gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Ghost, a reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him. And without him, nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, 
and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Technically, we are at the last day of the year, and we are celebrating the last Mass for the year. We could already hear or receive some, receive some greetings from people who would greet us with a Happy New Year because we are literally hours away from entering into a new year. But going back to our gospel, it points us back to one reality. It is not a coincidence that our gospel reading is the same that we had during Christmas Day. Because even if people are already busy preparing and welcoming the new year, our gospel reminds us that there is a more important holiday than New Year's Day, that there is a more important season that we are still celebrating. And sometimes this is the reality of our lives. We can get caught up with the many preparations that we undertake that we already forget the essence of what we are doing. We can easily lose our focus with the many activities that we undertake. And this is what our first reading would remind us. In reality, we are at the last hours of the year. And whenever we are at the last stretch of our activities, we tend to lose our focus. Gusto na lang nating matapos. We tend to compromise. We tend to become lax. And with that laxity of what we are doing, because we, just, we, we would just want to finish what we are doing. And the moment we lose our focus, we could also lose the, ver the very essence of what we are doing. Our gospel would remind us the very essence of what we are doing. If in the beginning of every activity, as Christians, as Catholics, we always ask God's help through an opening prayer, then it would also mean that every detail of our work must also be anchored in God. And if we have begun every activity invoking God's guidance for the work of our hands, then it would also mean that even to the end, our actions must always focus on God. Because this would always point us to one essential fact about our faith, that from the beginning until the end, we will always find Jesus. Hopefully, this is one thing that we could be reminded of. We begin with Jesus, and we also end with Jesus. But beginning with Jesus and ending with Jesus does not mean that we start from the Christmas manger and we also end with the Christmas manger. Because ending with Jesus does not, go, does not mean going back to Bethlehem. Ending with Jesus means going with him to Jerusalem. 
Ending with Jesus does not mean going back to the Christmas manger. Ending with Jesus means looking at the empty tomb. We begin with Jesus. We also end with Jesus. And if we have started right and our end is clear, then hopefully we will not lose sight of, we will not lose sight of that end if we are also journeying with Jesus. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your saving help, let our work be, find its origin in you, and through you reach completion. Amen. Please stand. As the year ends, let us praise and thank God for the many blessings He showered upon us, and most especially the gift of His Son, Jesus. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to preach the joy of the coming of Jesus, our Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders and officials may look to God's word as the foundation and goal of their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by our witness of life, we may bring the light of Jesus to those whose lives were darkened by sin and misery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in the coming of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faithful departed may share in the light of heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promised to pray for. Loving God, we thank you for sharing your life with us. May we leave sin behind, and as we cross another year, fill us with light, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up that, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof. My but, but only say, say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us tonight as we said as we welcome the new year as Cardinal Jose Advincola presides the New Year's Eve Mass tonight at 8 p.m. And tomorrow, Solemnity of the Mary Mother of God. Our Masses here at the Cathedral are from 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. We welcome the new year in honor of the Blessed Mother and entrusting ourselves to her maternal care. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Sleep.